What's going on, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Butt Show. Man, guys, I'm having interesting discussions all day. There's a lot of chatter happening right now. And this is why I try telling people do not put all your eggs into one basket. Remember I told you about the whole create your economy? It's important. It's vital. If you put all your eggs in one basket, next thing you know, that basket goes away. You're fucked, right? So the great financial crisis, and we look at everything, we look at the GDP of what has happened in ASEAN nations, which is Southeast Asian nations over the last, what, 50 years? And guys, to be honest with you, I mean, the outlook, it's not too good for this specific country. So what do I mean by that? Now, I just jumped all over the place, right? So if you look at the great financial crisis and what had happened, Basically, people who have these jobs, and this is what I laugh so much at, especially Americans and especially, oh my God, my hair, Donald, you know, Donald Trump and saying, oh, I create jobs. Listen, can jobs come and go? We can no longer rely on jobs. We need to rely on things that are far bigger than just jobs. We need to, re we, we need to learn how to instill knowledge in individuals, whereas they can create their own economy and have sustainability in case shit and weather and things and the outlook gets very ugly. See, the more jobs we create, the more in the dependable we become of these jobs. And then when the job goes away, what if a country such as Thailand, when a job goes away, they don't have employment, they don't have unemployment checks like America does when unemployment hits. Depending on how many months or years you've been at the company, you'll be able to collect a check for an X amount of time. Thailand doesn't have that. Why are we not teaching people to become sustainable and to become independent and to create their own economy instead of relying on jobs? Jobs are fake. Jobs are garbage. Jobs are all of this. Guys, I am not an economist, but I can tell you right now, I've had jobs. I put all my eggs in one basket right over here, right down, right down the street. Uh, not too much. But over there, I would literally, during some of those downtimes, talking about the November, December, January, February, there would be no work. And I said, you know what, this is bullshit. So yeah, I started looking elsewhere. I started saying, you know what, man, I'm going to make some money outside. They were opposed to that. They were like, oh, well, you work full time here. You need to dedicate your time. I said, oh, but when the work falls flat, what the fuck are you going to do for me? Oh, well, uh, that's the name of the game. <laughs> fuck you. I'm out. That's how I keep it real. So January, February, March, April, May was the last time that I made my, that bullshit ass decision here at the place that I'm working at right now. They weren't giving me anything based on ego, based on ignorance, based on a lot of different things. So I said, OK, well, fuck y'all. I'm out. Next thing you know, there were probably about three different cancels, uh, three different quittings, three different term. I wouldn't say t terminations. People just walked out. And so, of course, I was the last one in the pecking order, so they started giving me work. I said, nah, I'm good. I got shit I got to do on the outside. Listen, I'm free at this time, this time, this time, this time. This is all you get. We've already agreed on this package. 20 hours a week, max. That's all you're getting from me. So downtime happens again. But see, I've already learned from the past that a lot of people don't work, learn from the past. A lot of Americans have not learned from the past. They have not learned about CDOs and how these CDOs got into their bullshit-ass mortgages and how that literally just turned into cancer and destroyed the American economy. People don't learn. People don't learn that jobs are bullshit. I created jobs out here in Thailand. I created jobs. These motherfucking jobs are going to last from three months to about three years max. Look at the industries, the car industry. Look how bad Ford fucked over the people of Detroit. Look how bad the Japanese companies have fucked over just about everyone out there in the world. Come on, man. You know jobs are a bunch of bullshit, but yet you were taught only to be a worker. And if the job goes away, don't worry, you can look for another one. You're never going to be able to save up for retirement. You're never going to be financially educated to the point where you'll be able to save and amount money and invest money and create passive Income or portfolios, they never teach you that shit. You gotta be self-educated, guys. A standard education breeds standard results. <sighs> the outlook of this country, you have only jobs. Things are falling apart. The production market is down. The labor market's good. Bring in the Cambodian migrant workers. Bring in the Myanmar migrant workers. Get them in here. Start building everything. Okay, infrastructure going up. There is a, a ridiculous bubble right now with the condominiums. They're going up everywhere. I can tell you right now. Oh, you can't see shit because there's goddamn pollution everywhere. There's a condominium right there going up. 
There's a slew of them going up over there on the other side of that, near where I work. Within three years, these, con these condominiums will be empty. People won't be able to afford them because there are no longer jobs, because the production market will take a significant hit. The financial market, no problem. That was the Dong Yum Goon crisis of 1997. That's when everything went to shit. Lots of people died during that time. Did they learn from that? Eh, I could say 22 years later, somewhat. Not too bad. Financial market is just fine right now. People are blaming, oh, the strong bot. Motherfucker, stop bullshitting with yourself. The production market has gone down. Some people say, oh, well, we, like, we rely on the tourist industry. You're full of shit. This is why you are putting all your eggs into one basket. See, if Bhutan had relied on the tourist industry to keep their country afloat, they would have all been dead by now. This is why countries fail. When you put all your eggs into one basket, oh, you're relying on the tourist industry, which creates tourist jobs and this and that. <laughs> yeah, and the next thing you know, when your number one source of tourism comes from the Chinese market, and then the trade war, of course, directly impacts the Chinese market, and not many of them come here. And then you're left sh shrugging your shoulders saying, oh, what's going on here? That's when shit gets, that, that's when things get heated. See, not only that, the small businesses are being affected by it, too. Man, doors are shuttering all over the place. It feels like I'm watching the big short, you know? And those two guys are actually looking at the screen and Prudential and all these other, you know, financial agencies and, you know, companies are going right down the fucking train. And they're like, it's happening right now. And it did. Sure enough, it did. And boom, lots of people died. Boom, lots of unemployment. Boom, mother lost her job. Boom, couldn't get a loan. Boom, financial education. Of course, with my uh, FAFSA, which is student financial, you know, you know, I get these, you know, they get them to pay for me and everything. That all went down the drain, but I learned from it. I learned from it. As I've learned from a lot of different things in terms of the world of business this year. Investing in things that have no monetary value. Investing in things that, you know, have no ROI. Sometimes people believe, oh, yeah, well, you need to be able to rob, you know, to water the bamboo. Water the soil. You're not going to see the bamboo for at least five years. You got to understand how that works. I do understand that. But you know what? Sometimes we get confused with watering fucking bamboo and watering motherfucking cement. A lot of you are watering cement. I'm telling you right now. What can you learn from this rent? Financial education is everything. Do not put, if you are out there with just a job, I'm telling you, you're going to be replaced. I don't know if you're going to be replaced by robots and all that craziness, but let's just be honest. Your job, unless you've been working there for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, you're going to take a big hit. When you take a big hit wherever you are in the world, just it all depends. I mean, the Arab nations out there, they're going to take a hit when, of course, electric cars end up going you, you know, piling on top of piles on piles the next two to four decades. They're going to be like, oh, shit, man. People aren't using gas cars anymore. Oh, my God, gasoline. What are we going to do now? See what I mean? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just don't. you got to be able to look at future trends. That's what an economist is. That's what everyone needs to be. That's what's called finan becoming financially educated is investing in the condominium, a condominium right now here in Bangkok. Smart? Absolutely not. Because I do believe there is a surge and bubble that's going up. And once that economy collapses, when the production goes crap and all these jobs get wiped clean and then the GDP goes down, these condos are going, their value might go down by about 60%. Then you can buy. Because I would have to say in about a 20 year period, the GDP might go back up. Because Thailand's a very slow GDP country. Nothing has gone up over the last 22 years since the Thong Yom Kun crisis. But meanwhile, your neighbors, Myanmar, ASEAN members over here, Singapore is ahead of Brunei. Singapore is ahead of Brunei right now. Singapore is ahead of Brunei. They have zero exports. They get everything imported in. They are ahead of Brunei right now. Brunei is one of the most oil-rich nations on the planet. Oh, boy. Y'all need to understand. Create your economy. Do not rely on a goddamn job to sustain yourself. Because if you do, you're setting yourself up for a catastrophic failure. So that's what you could take with you today. I'm your host, as always, over and out.